is 29 Acacia Road, and this is Eric, the schoolboy who leads an amazing double life. But when Eric eats a banana, an amazing transformation occurs. Eric is Banana Man, ever alert for the call to action. Now then, this scheme of yours for overcoming Banana Man, tell me more, Dr. Gloom. With my new clone machine, we can produce an exact copy of any living creature and then program it to carry out our order. Let me show you. Now, remember Apple Man? Yes, particularly his last encounter with Banana Man. Apple Man crumbled. <laughs> One Apple Man wasn't enough, I grant you that. But think of two or three or more clone Apple Men. We shall see, Doctor. Proceed. Right. To make a clone, we insert a coin in the machine, and our subject on a conveyor belt is carried into the duplicating chamber. The little wheels spin around and around. And bingo! Very good, Doctor, but, but they seem lifeless. Ah, they're alive all right, but they're locked in a force field until I pull one of these release levers. What a prospect! An army of bad apples! But, Doctor, are they bad enough? Bad? Weem rotten to the core. Now, if we could get Banana Man down here and produce just one evil Banana Man of our own... Brilliant, Doctor! That would mean double trouble for Banana Man. But wait! Look at those three ducks on the wall. It can't be. Gotcha! <gasps> it's Crow, Doctor. Banana Man's little friend. Or should I say, little spy? Quack, quack. That's enough, bird brain. You're just the bait we need to set our trap. It's Crow, boss. They got me, pal. I'm a prisoner of the bad guys. I understand, Crow. Where are you being held? Round the neck. I'm at Dr. Gloom's surgery, Big B. But be careful. They're going to... <laughs> Put on the crow and throw the That's <laughs> enough of that. We'll be waiting, Banana Man. <laughs> Innocent. You hear me? I'm innocent. Quiet. We'll let this turkey go, Banana Man, if you'll just stand over there. Very well. Let him go. Why not? There's nothing they can do my super strength is not equal to. It's uncanny. Ah, yes. They're exactly alike, except for intelligence. No matter, once our Banana Man is programmed, he will be an unthinking robot of destruction. But first, a trial of strength. Take that! No, you take that! Don't kill me! Oof! Ow! Yikes! Oof! Etc. You've done it, Doctor. We shall triumph now that Banana Man joins the forces of evil. Oh, no, he won't, General. You won't get away with this. Oh, no, he won't, General. You won't get away with this. Oh, oh yes, yes, we will. will. Come with me to the computer room, General. We shall work out a program. How can I get Banana Man out of this? But which one is he? Quick, Crow, I'm the real Banana Man. Set me free. Quick, Crow, I'm the real Banana Man. Set me free. Uh, there's only one way to find out. Now you, can you tell me Boyle's law? The volume of a given mass of gas kept at one uniform temperature varies inversely as the pressure. Very good. And now you, which is heavier, a ton of bricks or a ton of feathers? What kind of feathers? Ah, it's you. Well done, Crow. But how did you know I was the real banana man? Oh, well, it was the way you spotted that trick question, boss. Of course.